Hello, my dear kids. As you know, we have to prepare for the graded examination in spoken English. Here, I brought you the second lesson of this examination preparation. So, now you might know what type of examination is this. This is a verbal examination. You have to only face for a few minutes of face-to-face -face interview. It will be very flexible and friendly. So this is the second preparation lesson of this examination. Let's improve our English speaking abilities. So, as I said earlier, you have to face for an interview with the examiner. For that, we have to learn different areas of English language. In this lesson, we will learn how to use numbers in spoken English language. Before go ahead, we have to recall what we have learned earlier. It's about personal information. Look, two little friends meet here. We will see what they say. Hello. Hi. What will they ask next? How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. How about you? So, they are getting to know each other. That's interesting. We will see what will happen next. Look at here. Still, they are talking to each other. Hi, my name is Samal. What is your name? I am Lara. How old are you? I am six years old. Oh, they are going to know each other well. So, children, this is the way that we can start a friendly conversation. So, you have already learned them. Please do not forget them and go through these dialogues again and again. Oh, here we have a number chart. While we are recalling earlier lesson, we can move to lesson Today from this conversation, we will see. Can you show your edge in numbers? Yes, I can. I am 6 years old. Very well. Here is one way that we can use numbers in speaking your age. You should aware about your age. As little children, you might not remember that now. But hereafter, keep that in your mind. You should be able to remember your age. Show your age using fingers. Show that in a number chart like this. Here we are with the number chart. Shall we count up to 20? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Very good. Let's count down. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very good. Okay, you should be aware about all the numbers up to 20. You should recognize them separately and show the number when the examiner asks it. And how to use your speaking abilities at that time. We will go further now and learn some more. Let's learn about numbers in a different way now. In your exam, the examiner might question in this way. He might point to the number and ask you, what is this number? To answer, you should recognize the number individually. Let's do some examples. What is this number? It's number 5. What is this number? It's number 8. What is this number? It's number 12. What is this number? It's number 17. We will do some more. What is this number? It's number 14. What is this number? It's number 17. What is this number? It's number 19. The examiner might question you about numbers in this way as well. Go through these examples, children. Is this number 8? Yes, it's number 8. Don't forget to recall these activities with your elder siblings or with your parents. Look here. There are some more examples. It's important that you have to always give the full answer. If the examiner question like this, point to the number 5 and he might ask, is this number 6? Your answer will be, no, it's number 5. But that is not the correct way to the answer. Remember children, you always have to give the grammatically correct answer. Let's see how it is. Is this number 11? No, it is not. It is number 7. Now, we are going to learn about numbers in patterns. 
It's very easy. You only have to remember about the correct order of number. At any point, if the examiner point out the number and ask, what is the number next to this number? You could be answer that. It's very easy. So, let's do some examples. You have to say, what is the next number? 1. What is the next number? Yes. 2. Let's move to next one. 12. What is the next number? 13. Next one. 18. What is the next number? Yes, 19. Let's move to next one. 16. What is the next number? Yes, 17. 17. What is the next number? Yes, 18. Last one, 11. What is the next number? Yes, 12. Very good, my dear children. We learned so many examples. But there are a few more ways that question about numbers. Look at here, children. There are some pictures, some books, and some children are there. Let's count how many books are there, shall we? One, two, three. There are three books. Now we will move on to question. Remember, you have to give the correct answer. How many books are there? There are three books. Next one. How many children are there? There are five children. This is the last example. Look at this number chart. After watching this video, you should make a number chart with your parents and do this example several times. You have to point the correct number when I ask. Are you ready? Let's do an activity. Point number 15. Very good. Next, point number 18. Point number 12. Next, point number 6. So, my dear children, here we come to the end of this lesson. Don't forget what we have learned today. Please do all the examples again and again. Have a good day. Stay safe.